Hello and welcome to a new game. This is Hollow Knight. Let's dive right in. New game. Uh, possibly should have checked the controller is working before I did this. That appears okay. Um, so this is a relatively recent release. Um, I was sucked in by the art style of this game. You'll see as soon as we start, it's pretty gorgeous. It's hand-drawn kind of animation. Um, looks great, should play great. In Wilds Beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. Just in time, got through that. Um, this game is I think kind of Metroidvania, Explorathon, platformer game. Um, you look around, you find dead ends, you go out, you find skills, use those skills to unlock those dead ends. No idea what's going on in this cutscene. Creepy. That is me, you, the character, you and I, on brand. We appear to be walking through some kind of deserted town. So I've seen the first kind of roughly an hour of this game. I watched another Let's Play channel, uh, don't tell Al, play a little bit of this. That's what kind of got me interested in the game. I hadn't really heard of it before that. Um, I like this style of game. I really enjoyed um, Ori and the Blind Forest, a similar kind of thing. Um, Metroidvania, like I say, kind of explore, but tight platforming, things like that. Okay, very dramatic. And here we go. So I have control. We have our jump, we have our slash. Jump slash. Yeah. Um, no other buttons at the moment. There's a port. Ooh. So that is Old Nail. Traditional weapon of Hollow Nest. Its blade is blunt with age and wear. Focus. Hold B. Focus collected soul to repair your shell and heal damage. Strike enemies to gather soul. So. Ah, uh, yes. Here's our first enemy. And so I think those are coins and the kind of white sphere filling up Ooh. oh no it didn't have damage me i thought that kind of flash damaged me but it didn't uh the white sphere kind of filling up is our souls that it was talking about and you can use the souls to recharge your health a bit and i imagine perform other things later on oh i like that that it kind of gets darker as you go into this enclosed space that's pretty cool. So like I said, the, the art style in this is quite amazing. It's all, well, I don't know if it's all hand-drawn, but a large chunk of it is hand-drawn. What's that? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. To focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. So this is what I say. Hold B, get some life back in exchange for soul. Uh, but I don't currently need to at the moment. I think those kind of white faces up there are my health, so I'm full at the moment. None of these enemies are particularly challenging right now. Ooh, something nearly fell on my head there. Lots of monies to collect. Nah. It's very responsive. Feels good to play. Oh, you can hit the stalactites as they try and fall on you. That was lucky. Control's good. I look forward to things like a double jump. Always fun. Wall jumps, things like that. Um, any kind of mobility upgrade is always great in a game like this. Uh, as well as things like damage and uh, range attacks, maybe. What's this do? Ah, I can hit them. Oh, so they give me like extra uh, 
extra hits, like armor, I guess. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so if I'd known about that, I could have tried to get in there as I fell. Oh well. More stalact. Uh, is it stalactites? Stalactites or stalagmites? Uh, stalag. There's some kind of. Ooh. Okay. That was a mistake. There's some kind of mnemonic you can do for that, but I've forgotten the mnemonic. <laughs> Damn it. What was it? Stalag. 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 G ah, that was it. So, G for ground. Stalag comes from the ground. Stalag. C for ceiling. Come from the ceiling. High beings. And clearly not a high being, judging by that mnemonic fail. These words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you should enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom. I guess this is a bug kingdom? Considering this all appears to be insect related. Just wail on this for a bit. Ooh. Okay, cool. Very dramatic. And so you can't take full damage, it's always useful in games like this. Dirt Mouth. I've been to a few places that I think qualify for the title Dirt Mouth in my time. Listen. Oh, they travel, I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out, it's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travellers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. So this... Who was he? Elderbuck. Hello, Nest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm, now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. And this is how you save. You have a nice little sit down. Um, so this is the town. I guess this is the hub. For your mapping supplies will be opening soon. Zelda and Cornifer. So there's a shop. Uh, that's the well he was talking about. I remember seeing this. Over here, there is... Um, a door. I don't think we can go through it yet. Stone door with a simple lock. Yeah, so stuff unlocks as you go. Pretty standard. Metroidvania. So let's head down into the kingdom main. Forgotten crossroads. So this is where. Uh, do we have a map? Oops. Fell on it. Um, there must be a map somewhere. Hold B to focus and bring some health back. Let's have a quick look. Inventory, super dash, quick map. Yeah, why is that not working? Dash, quick cast, dream nail, cast. So I guess these are things I don't have yet. Hmm, map is <coughs> excuse me, isn't working yet. All right, maybe we pick it up somewhere. So pretty basic enemies at this point. No, nothing too complicated. <coughs> excuse me, I appear to have something in my throat. It's always typical. As soon as you start to go, start to record. You'll choke on something. You'll be fine for hours upon hours beforehand. The second you sit down to do anything with a microphone. Ooh, hey. okay. <laughs> I really thought I was just gonna drop. So this guy is sad. I don't think there's much I can do for him right now. I remember seeing that. Don't worry, man. We'll fix your issue at some point. 
I don't know how, how like, oh, that was bad. How, oh, shit, shit. Okay, now I'm here. Um, how kind of happy or pessimistic this game is. Pilgrim's Way. Travellers of Hellenes descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There are all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. All truths? Not sure I want that. Um, uh, what was I saying? So yeah, I'm not sure how, because at the moment it's clearly got a bit of a dark vibe to it, which is fine, but I wonder if like, you know, it's one of those, there's no happy endings for anyone you meet, everything's dark and depressing, or whether you know things turn out okay for things as you as you solve them you hear my voice crack it's like i'm 14 all over again it's what i get for eating some biscuits before i sit down to play hobnobs the most crumbly of biscuits so my attack is fine at the moment it's not great oh uh, okay I don't think I can get to you yet. Uh, so I'm going to double jump or air dash needed there. Ooh, really? Oh, you jump. I'm not sure I like that. Oh, crap. There we go. Uh, so I should do the thing. Hang on. One, two, three. Nice. Uh, you can't jump through platforms. Good to know. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't have a map or anything. I've got a vague idea of the direction I've come from. But... Oh, crap. Tried to get a bit too fancy there. Stick with what works. Yeah, and the spikes. It's no good. I wonder what's down there. So there's there's a lot of paths in this. I'm not really sure without a map if I'm doing a good thing or not going this way. Um, might just be that I'm heading towards a dead end. There's no point really going to just yet. Let's do this. There we go. Ah, screw it. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, so that, oh, that appears to be nothing I can do at the moment. So those kind of coin piles, um, doesn't look like they recharge. So you can't just farm them. Looks like it's a one and done deal. So you get souls from killing enemies, but also fighting enemies puts you at risk of losing a heart. So it's this weird give and take. Nope. Um, where you can get souls to try and heal, but then you have to risk the fight to get that. Hmm. It does feel good though, like I say. It's very responsive, very quick. Uh, ooh, okay. Ooh. Let's go in here. This this is cool. Temple of the Black Egg. Let's talk to you. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveller on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg. Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. Ah, this is the thing from the um, opening cutscene. It's got the three things on it. Ah, okay. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having a hobnob resurgence. <laughs> That's a good name for a band. Hobnob resurgence. I'd listen to that. Okay, so this appears to be some kind of uh, plot device, I imagine. So, can't do anything with it at the moment. But good to know. See, I really wish I had a map. Maybe that should be the first thing I try and find. I know it's possible because I remember seeing that they had a map in the video I watched of this. 
Ah, I can hit you through platforms, that's useful. Um, but I cannot remember how they got it. Ascend. Ah, so this goes back up to the... Okay. So I went around in a bit of a circle there. Did this signpost say anything? No. Um, so nothing down there. So this goes back to that big room that goes down. So let's see. Uh, did I go through here? I did go through here. Yes. Pretty sure I did. Oh, that's not good. Uh, is this the bottom? This looks like the bottom. Uh, okay, let's just go through here and see what we find. Uh, okay. Nothing over here. Ooh. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful ward ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade. Aha, that's map person. Map bug. And I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Yes, I would. Purchase map of the area. Yes. Acquired a map. Hold LB. Nice. That could be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not heard of the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She even sells some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. I bet she is, buddy. Okay, here we go, map. Uh, so that little face looks like his face. Oh look, I'm looking down at the map, that's cute. Um, looks like his face. So that's the room I'm in, that's the big tower room above it. There, that's the temple, I guess, up there. Um, so I want to go down. Uh, maybe let's have a look through here. So this looks like it could be a dead end. Oh god, took me by surprise. Okay. Let's heal up a little bit. Ooh. Okay, you're cool looking, but also fuck that. Can I get back up? Nope. Really want that double jump. It's weird how in games like this, you kind of feel a little bit exposed without a double jump. Oh dear, I don't know. I don't like this. Oh god. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, this steam is not great. Oh, hello. Cool. Um, they go back to the guy who was crying. I remember that. And I guess you have to try and rescue all of them. Make him happy. Um, so... Yeah, what was I saying? So, without a double jump, I remember this in Ori, you kind of feel a little bit exposed, um, and then you start getting these these power-ups, and you start to feel a lot more capable. Uh, let's, let's go back up to the shop and have a look. <laughs> it's a bit weird when you jump up into one of those, because you kind of get sucked up to that last little bit. It doesn't feel exactly like your jump feels, so it's a little bit uh, disconcerting. So those guys don't really get knocked back. Oh yeah, I tell you what, since we're coming this way, whoops, let's go and talk to the sad cry dude. Sad crying dude. And uh, see what he gives us for finding that one dude. I think it's just money, which is good if you're going to the shop. Look how cheerful he is. What was that? Five. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess your child is worth five. <laughs> I mean... 
Sorry, buddy, I guess you're one of the more unloved ones. Mum, how much am I worth? Five. I don't even know what they are. What are they? Bug casings? Shells? What should we call them? Shells is a good name for currency. Let's go with shells. So I've got 167 shells. 170. Let's see what that gets us in the shop. Might not be much at this stage. Don't know. Let's see what the economy's like. And uh Ah <sighs> Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband should be dealing with. But what a surprise, he's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail on my shelf. My shelf? Now let's see what's here for me to sell. Okay, wayward compass. It will pinpoint your location on the map. That's quite good to have. Update your map with new areas as you explore. That's also quite good. Bench pin, mark benches and other rest spots. That's quite good. Hmm. All right, well, I've got 170. That seems like it's pretty required. Let's see where you where you are on the map. Uh, well, I suppose if you if you know enough about the area, you can probably figure it out. Let's grab that. Why not? I just want to buy a thing. Capitalism makes me happy. All right. Let's save, and then that will do for our first try at this today. So. Hop on a bench, have a nice sit down. Map updated. Ah, that's cool. So, that's Hollow Knight. Um, I'll try and do more episodes. This game's looking pretty great. I'm feeling good about it. I feel like I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, please come back and check out the channel for more another time. And don't forget to check out our first podcast episode, which we uploaded recently. Mm. A little scrappy, I won't lie. A little scrappy, we're figuring it out as we go. But it's a good time. Um, we're all relatively entertaining people, I like to think. So it's worth hearing us chat. Plus, you know, I think you'll notice even just from the first podcast, me and Al have a habit of just wandering off conversation tracks. And um, we've lost days to that in the past. So look forward to that in podcast form. But for now, uh, please like and subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. And... Bye for now.